Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Just some time ago, Japan and the Netherlands officially announced the specific content of the tripartite agreement reached with the United States at the end of 2022. Japan will begin to restrict the export of six categories of 23 types of semiconductor equipment in July this year, involving multiple chip manufacturing processes, such as cleaning, etching, and deposition, while the Netherlands announced that it will restrict some DUV lithography this summer. Machine Export Although Japan restricts the export of more types of semiconductor equipment, it is the DUV lithography machine export restricted by the Netherlands that has a stronger impact on China's semiconductor industry. Because Japan restricts the export of semiconductor equipment, China has achieved a certain degree of localization, and the Netherlands has restricted the export of DUV lithography machines. According to China's current technology, that can only produce 90 nanometers lithography machines, it is very likely that they will be limited to 65 nanometers for a while. The Netherlands is not only a big country in lithography machine manufacturing, but also has ASML, the world's largest lithography machine manufacturer, and also has the world's most complete lithography machine industry chain in China and many upstream manufacturers of lithography machines are also in the Netherlands. Although the Netherlands has signed a tripartite agreement with Japan and the United States to restrict the export of semiconductor equipment to China, the attitude of the Netherlands has always been very ambiguous. Recently, there has been news that the two Dutch lithography giants have collectively acted to actively deploy the Chinese market. Many foreign media have said, Chinese chips can't stop it. In the global semiconductor supply chain, the Netherlands has the strongest lithography machine strength. It not only has ASML, the world's number one lithography machine company, but also has a number of lithography machine supply chain companies such as KMWE. Most importantly, only ASML can currently produce EUV lithography machines for advanced chips, and other companies will not be able to master related technologies in a short period of time. Therefore, before other semiconductor equipment companies master the EUV lithography machine production technology, ASML can make a profit by shipping EUV lithography machines. It is a pity that because the United States wants to suppress and limit the development of China's semiconductors, it has repeatedly threatened and lured the Netherlands to restrict the export of EUV lithography machines and even some DUV lithography machines. In this way, the layout of the Netherlands in the field of lithography machines was disrupted and it also affected ASML's revenue. After all, for ASML, China has always been its second largest market in the world but shipments in the United States are restricted. Under the circumstances, ASML's market share in China fell from 22% to 8%. Before, the United States used the Wonison Agreement to require ASML not to allow the export of EUV lithography machines to China. Therefore, even if ASML has signed an order with a Chinese company, it has been unable to ship. It's just that as the United States has repeatedly made progress, it has expanded the scope of restricted shipments from EUV lithography machines to some DUV lithography machines. Strengthen the layout of the Chinese market. Attractiveness of the Chinese market. 
For Dutch lithography machines, the Chinese market is very attractive. China is not only the world's largest semiconductor market, but also has a huge demand for semiconductor equipment, especially lithography machines. It has always been ASML's second largest market in the world. First of all, SMIC has completed the research and development of 7 nanometers technology and the mass production of 14 nanometers, and there is a great demand for EUV lithography machines. Secondly, SMIC currently has four 12-inch fab projects under construction, and Hua Hong is also preparing to build a 12-inch fab. At present, only Shanghai Microelectronics in China can produce 90 nanometers lithography machines, even under multiple exposures. It can only achieve 65 nanometers process. Why? For ASML, whose orders for lithography machines decreased by 40% in the first quarter, the Chinese market is undoubtedly particularly attractive. After the Netherlands announced the signing of a tripartite agreement to strengthen export restrictions on lithography machines and prohibit the export of some DUV lithography machines, Many people believed that it was impossible to import lithography machines. Before Shanghai Microelectronics, 28 nanometers immersion lithography machines were shipped. China's semiconductor equipment will be affected. Unexpectedly, not only did the Netherlands say that some DUV lithography machines can still be exported and can be used to produce automotive chips, that are currently in short supply. But also ASML announced that it will expand its Chinese team, and KMWE even announced that it will build a new factory in China to specialize in the production of equipment supplied in China. KMWE is an upstream manufacturer of ASML, which can provide a variety of processing and manufacturing solutions, including CNC machining ultrasonic cleaning, vacuum welding, precision grinding, etc. Not only that, KMWE can also provide high-quality optical components and assembly services, and assembly, commissioning, maintenance, and other services of semiconductor equipment. Most importantly, KMWE can also provide customers with customized lithography machine parts, processing, and manufacturing services. This time KMWE built a factory in China to avoid the restrictions of the United States. So the equipment produced by KMWE's factory in China will be specially used for the Chinese market. From this point, it can be seen that KMWE cares about the Chinese market. After all, the cost of building a new factory is extremely high. If KMWE does not care about the Chinese market, or has low expectations, then there is no need to build a new factory for this. The United States has repeatedly revised chip rules and the reaction of restricting shipments has gradually begun. Countries around the world have realized that the United States is unreliable and have begun to work on get rid of U.S. technology. More and more semiconductor companies cannot stand the United States exports. Limitations, ASML and KMWE are just the beginning.